Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing a full body strength workout today. You'll need a few things. So you should have a pair of weights for this one. Uh, you could also use soup cans or something heavy, but have something available to lift. Um, you should also have a small towel and um, have that either way. But side note, if you're on carpet, also have some paper plates You'll be able to use those when we do a gliding exercise near the end of class. Either way, you're going to need that towel. Um, and then also have a mat, okay? So all strength today. We are going to be doing some compound movements because I'm going to try to kind of get it all. Um, and I'm going to put a few things together to make that happen a little more efficiently. All right, let's head out. All right, guys, I want to get us a little warmed up. Let's take those feet wide, real wide. Turn your toes out. We're just gonna do a side to side, kind of sinking lunge right here. And let yourself sink into this, okay? So I'm finding that stretch every time. You should feel that in your inner thighs, stretching out, and then also just starting to warm up the front side of your thighs and those quads. Let's get a couple more. Hold it here. So we're just gonna hold. We're gonna start warming up our torso and that upper body. Let's reach warm overhead. So you've got a long line from this top arm through that back heel. Really reach, I want you to lean now a little bit. Lean here and circle your arm around, okay? Kind of get like a little air guitar thing going those rock stars out there. Okay, reach it up, hold it here. Just hold. Let's take it over. We're going to go to the other side. So we're coming out. We'll take that top arm. We're reaching long, finding length through this side of the body now. Really reach through those fingers. Okay, start taking around big circles. Okay, let's get four, three, two, one, bring it right back up to center. Okay, we're gonna turn the toes pointing forward now and reach both arms out, really, really reach. Okay, so you feel them kind of pulling away from the sockets a little bit. And now draw back. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together here, almost bring it like you're trying to touch your elbows together behind your back. Let's reach forward again, big reach. Pull it back like you're squeezing your elbows towards one another. Do that one more time. Reach forward and back. Take both arms up, big stretch up and big circle. Bring them around and back like you're doing some kind of a backstroke here. Not sure if this would really work in water. Uh, don't take my word for it, all right? And reach it back, hold it this time. Feel that opening through the front of your shoulders and your chest. And now we're gonna roll it forward. So keeping straight legs, just let yourself start to come down and find your stretch. So we're looking for lengthening through the back side of the legs and those hamstrings. And also in your lower back, you can take hands right to the floor if that feels good or keep them up higher. All right, slowly start to make your way back up and we're gonna get started. All right, guys, so we're getting a little bit of everything today. You're gonna get some core, upper body, and legs. We're starting with legs. Um, so for this one, it is a compound movement. Most of the exercises today are compound, so we're working more than one area at a time. What we're doing is a lunge lift and then a, I'm sorry, yeah, lunge to lift and squat to lift. So I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna take the weight into my right hand and I'm gonna start moving on the right side. So you'll see what I mean, okay? It's gonna be a low lunge. So you're gonna come down low lunge to lift. I'm gonna step out squat to lift, okay? So it's a four movement pattern, okay? lunge lift squat to lift we're going to stay on one side and then we'll switch
switch everything over and we'll move on the left side, okay? So let's get ready, weight in the right hand, or balance on that left leg, okay? Keep it nice and paced, we're gonna take it back. Bring it down, everything up, squat, everything up, and I'm keeping my spine long. Lunge, up, squat, lift, down, up, squat, and up. That's three, we're going for five, lift, squat, lift, down, lift, squat, and lift. We're gonna transition, hand it off to your left. Let's get steady on the right side. We're doing the same thing. I want you to feel it out for a round, okay? So we lunge to lift, squat to lift, down and up, okay? All right, let's take our five and bring it down to lift, squat, back up, lunge. Ooh, there's a wall. Lift, squat, and up, lunge, lift, squat, lift, lunge, lift, squat, last time, lunge, lift, squat, bring it up, okay? So we've got the idea there. Um, this next one is challenging. I tried it out earlier and I was like, yeah, that's a good one. Um, so you have options. You are doing a mount or a renegade row, okay? So that's a row from plank position. You'll be alternating your arms, okay? Um, I thought, why not? Because I know I can. Um, if we slow it down and take it controlled, why not add in a little bit something extra, okay? So I decided to add in a knee while I do my row. So here's what I mean. My weights are right under my shoulders. I'm gonna row, bring one knee forward, and then take it back down. Row, down, row, and down. And that one's hard, okay? If you're wanting to split it in half and not take both components, I want you to focus on that row component, okay? Don't worry about the knees if that's not working. Um, and if being down on the floor here isn't working, you've always got that opportunity to just take it right here at a flat back bent over row, okay? With that one, I would have you doing both arms together, okay? Let's get ready. We are taking these at a controlled pace. We've got 12 of these, okay? You're in start position. Let's row one, two, three, four, five, six, lots of core engagement, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, okay? So we're gonna set it down. So that little knee raise, getting unstable, forces you to take your core into overdrive. Um, if you don't, you're gonna, you're gonna fall over, okay? So we're doing two more rounds. Um, take it or leave it, okay? We're going to a Superman next. So we'll be laying on the belly. We're coming into a lower back extension. We'll feel an engagement through that low back, a little bit through the glutes. We're gonna add in scapular engagement. So um, lat engagement through that upper back. We're holding our towel here. In our Superman, we're pulling out and a little bit down on that towel. So this is where I want you to focus on engaging, okay? Let's bring it on to the belly and take an end of the towel on each hand. Let's lift up long legs, long arms away from that mat. Pull, find that scapular engagement and release it. Stay in your Superman. Pull and reach. Exhale, inhale, pull and reach. We're gonna take five more. Pull, relax it, pull, relax it. Three to go. 
and reach. Exhale when you engage. Inhale during that relaxation. Last one and release it. Okay guys, so those are our first three exercises. I'm gonna keep it a controlled pace, but we're gonna just kind of move through each of them again for two more rounds, okay? So if there are changes that you think you know would be appropriate for you to make for these next two rounds, I want you to go ahead and make any changes that you think you need to make. I'm gonna try not to kick the wall this time, that's my goal, okay? So we're starting back, weights in the right hand, lunge, lift, squat, lift, all right? Let's go, stepping that right foot back, lunge, bring it up, squat, bring it up, lunge, up, squat, up, lunge, up, squat, up, lunge, up, squat, we've got one more, lunge, lift, squat, and lift. All right, we're gonna pass off that weight to the left hand, we're balanced on the right side, left leg's doing the moving now. Let's lunge it back. Okay, take it down and up, squat, up, lunge, lift, squat, lift, lunge, lift, squat, lift, lunge, lift, squat, last time, lunge to lift, good, squat to lift. All right, moving on, we're going right back to that renegade row, with or without that knee, um, make sure if you're doing the knee, it should be opposite, okay? Don't try to go same side, that's gonna be a disaster, okay? We're doing opposite if you're taking that knee lift. All right, set it up, and let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew. There's no hiding from that. Oh goodness. Okay guys, take it to your belly. We've got that intentional lat engagement. You gotta think about it. You're gonna get as much out of this one as you put into it because you're in charge of how much you pull on that towel. Okay, come on to your belly. And we're gripping the towel at each end. Lift up, find your Superman, we're staying here. Exhale, pull, and extend back out one. Pull, two, and we're just gonna keep moving. Three, Four, five, neutralize the neck, no strain there, six, seven, keep those legs lifted, eight, nine, and ten. All right, I warn you, don't make this your sweat towel because coming up later, you're gonna want that thing dry, okay? Um, let's go. We're going last round. Okay. So let's get ready. We're balanced on the left side. Um, yeah, we're sticking with one dumbbell. You could go two if you wanted. Uh, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Step it back. Lunge to lift. Lunge, squat to lift. One. Whew. Two. Three, four, and there's our five. Okay, let's transition over, weights in the left hand. We're balancing on the right side now, okay? Let's get it going. Step it back, lunge to lift, squat, bring it up. Lunge to lift, that's my bad balance side. Bring it up in case you couldn't tell. Lunge to lift, squat to lift, lunge to lift, squat. We've got one more round. Down, up, good squat, 
and finish it, bring it up, okay? Let's take it down. We're going to our last set here of those renegade rows with or without knees, or again, that flat back bent over row is great as well. Hands are right under the shoulders, okay? If you're down here, let's get on our toes and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, woo, eleven, one more, last one, woo, don't mind being done with those, okay, so let's take it back onto the belly, okay, and I'm going to show you this way, just so you can see how little, um, movement wise, I'm not going far, okay, it's around the belly, Let's get into that Superman position. So legs are lifted, arms are lifted, low back engaged. Here we go, pull and release it. One, pull, two, keep going, three, relax your neck, four, keep those legs lifted, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, great job out there. We're gonna move along. Okay, so coming up next, we're doing a single leg deadlift. I'm pairing it again, it's a two parter, okay? So it's gonna be up to you how much weight you want to use. If you've got heavy dumbbells and you wanna take this one down to one weight, I would hold it in the side opposite of where your leg is planted. Okay, so we're gonna start balanced on the left leg. So if you're going one weight, hold it in your right hand. If you're going two weights, obviously, you don't really need to choose them. Okay, so here's where we're headed. Heads up, both legs are gonna get attention here, okay? So single leg deadlift, we're gonna hinge forward, keep a long spine, we're coming up, bring your knee forward, extend, bend, send it back to that single leg deadlift, knee up, extend it, bend it, okay? So we're gonna do that on a four count, we're doing five on one side, and then we'll switch to the other side. Okay, let's get balanced on that left leg. My right leg's gonna be doing all the moving, okay? Don't go leg left out. You're keeping some softness in that knee, okay? Think long lines here, length through the spine. Here we go, hinge forward. That's one, come up, knee forward. Two, extend out. Three, bend it, four. Deadlift, knee up extend, bend, deadlift, come up, extend, bend. I'm trying to keep that knee as high as my hip. When I extend it, take one more round, deadlift, bring it up, extend, and bend. Okay, so there's so much going on when you're balancing, which is why I love to do it, okay? I'm not sitting in a machine, just pressing or just pulling, I've gotta use all those stabilizer muscles and that's a challenge, okay? So let's switch sides. We're gonna take it on the right leg now, okay? Um, I'll keep cueing you. This is my balance challenge personally, okay? So I want you to try out around. So it'll be straight, that knee lift, an extension, and rebend, okay? All right, guys, balance on that right leg. Here we go, find your deadlift. Come forward, lift your knee, extend, bend it back. Deadlift, come forward, extend, and bend. Deadlift, come up, reach out, bend it. Take it back, come up, extend. 
extend, bend one more time, come back and up, extend and bend it. All right guys, we are not going fancy, believe it or not, on this next one because it's fine the way it is. We're going to push ups, okay? When you are limited for equipment, one of the best pushing exercises that you can do is a push up. You've got your own body weight to work with, okay? You can take these at a wall, you can take them at your mat, you can take them from high plank, you could also take them from kneeling, and I'll probably do a combination of both of those. If you're going from kneeling, one thing I want to point out um, is that you should be in a kneeling plank. So right about here, my belly is active. I'm not disengaged like this. I'm pulling my belly in to keep that long line from the top of my head back through my knees. Okay, straight line. Um, from high plank, we're right here. Hands are right under the shoulders or maybe a tiny bit wider, okay? We're taking 10 of these with control. Here we go. Bring it down. We've got 10, down, nine, down, eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, and last one, okay? So I took it to my knees at the end. I'd much rather have full range of motion than finish with a couple crummy ones with really poor form, okay? So don't be afraid to back off a little bit. All right, guys, so you're gonna need one or two of your dumbbells. Um, I know mine are kind of on the line for this exercise. It's gonna be a challenge for me. Um, the reason we're gonna stay down here is because when you do this front raise from kneeling, what you're gonna notice is you have to engage this backside. So you're engaging back here in order to get those weights lifted. You're using your shoulders. And you're also gonna feel it in your core. So we could have just done this all class. It's like a full body workout. Um, all right guys, palms are facing down, arms are staying almost straight. Be ready to support this weight when you bring it forward. Core needs to be ready. Here we go, lift to shoulder height, lower down, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, I'm really trying not to lean back, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay guys, that was challenging. Um, so we're going back to the top. Those are our three and we're going back to our deadlift. So you've played around with it a little bit. Um, if it got sloppy for you and you'd rather just, you know, keep it a little more um, backed away from that balance. I want you to keep both feet down and just keep it at a regular Romanian deadlift here, okay? So Romanian deadlift means you're primarily hinging from the hips, very little bend in the knees, so you're not really doing a squat, okay? All right, let's get ready. We're on that left foot, your weights are ready. And let's tip into our deadlift, come up bringing your right knee forward, extend, bend, deadlift, come up, knee up, extend, bend right to that deadlift, come up with that knee forward, reach, bend, deadlift, come up, knee up, reach, we got one more guys, bring that knee up, and extend, bring it in. Okay, so really trying to keep that knee high on extension. We're working that quad. Let's go to the other side. So my right leg is planted down. I'm gonna be reaching back with the left, okay? Here we go, come into your deadlift. Come up, lift your knee, extend and bend. Reach it back, deadlift, come up, reach, bend. 
deadlift, bring it up, reach, bend two more, deadlift, come up, woo, reach, and bring it back, last one, deadlift, knee up, extend, and bring it back in, okay? All right, we are back to those push-ups, okay? So, 10 with control, let's bring it down. Another thing about these push-ups, um, what I see happen a lot is we get tired and we lose our alignment. So usually what happens is my hands, I'll see hands wind up way far forward like this and then we're kind of doing something here. Um, try to avoid that. Like I said, if you've been high, taste your knees, get in that kneeling plank, get good form. Thumbs up. Let's go. All right. Starting position and bring it down, press, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, and there's our ten. Okay, so we're going back to our front raise. So gauge your weight accordingly. I'm gonna stick with bulk for now. I feel like that third round might be questionable. Okay, so get solid in your base right here. Tummy's engaged, okay, core's engaged. Palms facing down. Let's go lift shoulder height. Control down, one. Up, two. Three, you're trying to exhale on that lift. Inhale on the way down. There's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Whew! That one got hard. All right. So let's finish it out. We're going back to our deadlift. Let's balance left side first. We're gonna kind of teeter totter it forward, long lines. Let's go. Tip. Come up with that knee. Extend. Bring it in. Deadlift. Come up. Reach and in. Deadlift. Come up. Reach in. Deadlift, come up, reach, and in last one, deadlift, come up, and reach, and in. Whew, I think my legs are feeling it. All right, guys, let's get that other side. So we're balancing on the right leg now. Let's just go for it. Come into your deadlift. Come up with your knee, extend, bring it in. Deadlift. Come up, extend, bring it in. Deadlift, come up, reach out, two to go. Deadlift, knee up, extend, bend. Deadlift, come up, reach out, and in. Whew, okay. So, so the thing about these compound workouts is we're not doing that many different exercises, but you're getting so much at the same time that it doesn't take like 20 exercises to get that full body workout. Let's do our push-ups, okay? So push-ups, chest, shoulders, arms, core, it's all in there. Set up, you're in your high position, and let's go. Down, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, guys, we're gonna do our front raises last time. Um, I'm gonna make the smart move and I'm taking it down to one because 
I was really, really honestly struggling through the end of the last set of this, so I'd rather keep it safe. This will still give me something to work against, okay? So let's get ready, core's engaged, backside's engaged, lift to shoulder height, down with control one, exhale, inhale two, bring it up, three, keep going, here's four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one. There is ten. Okay, guys, so we're moving on. We have our last three exercises, and this first one is what you need your gliders for. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more room here. You'll need to be seated and positioned so your butt's right at the end of your mat okay um, weights are going to be optional on this one there's a lot going on um, i'll show you all options okay a little water it's water not coffee um i already had that so we're doing a bridge I'm just going to get into your glutes your lower back a little bit your hamstrings, and then we're also doing a heel slide, which is going to really engage your hamstrings and also get into your calves, okay? So think basically your backside, get your backside. So you need your towel here. You need to make sure that your feet are fully on your towel. So when my toes wind up coming down, they come down onto the towel, not onto the floor. So get your heels, towards that back edge, okay? So I'm gonna show this to you. Um, if you, and I'm gonna kind of scooch forward here. Now if you wanna use weight, here's where you'll be taking your weight. You will rest it on your hips. I recommend positioning so that your elbows actually, and the back of your arms are gonna stay on the floor or close to it. That's gonna help you during your hamstring curl. So here's where we're headed. We're gonna lift up, my feet stay close in. I'm gonna lower down, not all the way to the floor. My butt is not touching the floor. I'm gonna extend out, pull it back in, drive my hips back up, lower them to right over that floor, come out, in, up, okay? So that is what we're doing here. If you want weight, again, you're resting it right around your hip area. You really don't need it here, okay? Let's get in that start position. You're starting with your feet flat. Let's lift up, find your bridge, lower to that hover, extend out, in, lift up, down, out, in, and up. There's two, going to 10. Out, in, three, down, out, in, four, down, out, in, five, down, out, in, six, down, out, in, seven, down, out, in, eight, down, out, in, nine, down, out, in, big lift, 10. Okay, come all the way down. Guys, we are going to a Z sit next. Um, not sure why it's called that, to be honest, because to me it just looks like a V, but maybe it's a V sit and I just heard it wrong. Um, we're taking the legs wide, okay? And your goal here, we've done this before, is gonna be to stay as tall through that spine as possible, which when we add, this overhead shoulder press is going to become more challenging. Overhead shoulder press, the weights start about even with your ears, so I'm not way down here. My elbows are almost to shoulder height. I'm gonna press up, weights come almost together, and then I'm gonna lower back down, okay? Get those weights ready. Remember, your goal is to stay tall. Bring them to start position. 
and press up, bring it down. One, up, two, three, stay tall, four, flex your toes back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So a big part of that one is stopping at the right place. So I am working to stop it here. That takes effort. If I just let it come all the way down, I've lost control and I'm not engaging my stabilizer muscles. So for many reasons, it's important that we stay within that um, intentional range of motion, okay? All right, guys, we are ending with all the boats. Okay, we're doing boat to canoe to boat to canoe. Here is where we're going, okay? You're gonna come into a balance. Try not to be right on your tailbone. Try to stay on that pushier part of your seat. And we're finding a balance here. So arms are forward, my legs are engaged. This is our boat. Canoe, we're gonna come down as kind of that curvy shape. And we come back up to boat. If that's not working for you, I want you to stay feet down in a boat, take it part way back so you feel a little shaky, and then come back forward, back up, okay? We've got 10 of these. These are our last three exercises. All right, let's find our boat. Come down to canoe, exhale up, one. Inhale, two, down, up, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, and 10, okay? So definitely, we know we felt it in the core, um, but also, do you feel it back in those quads? They're getting some good attention today. All right, we're at the top of our list here. Last two rounds, guys, and then you are done. Okay, we got a lot in today. Make sure your feet are fully on your towel. You're scooched to the very edge of your mat, okay? Weights are on your hips if you want them. Bend your knees. So we're starting in that good bridge position. Here we go. Lift up, lower to hover, extend out, draw back in. Lift, down, reach, pull in, lift, down, reach, pull in, lift, down, reach, pull in, lift, down, reach, pull in. I think we're at five, lift, down, reach, six, lift, down, reach, seven, lift, down, reach, eight, lift, down, reach, nine, lift, down, reach, and pull it in, finish it good, and come on down. Okay, guys, Whew. we're getting ready, back in that tall, seated position. Try to take those legs out wide, okay? I want you to flex your feet back, point your toes back towards your shins, think about getting away from here, bring it up nice and tall, okay? Get those weights, starting position, and press it up. Down with control, one, two, remember we're not bringing it all the way down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay guys, let's go to our canoe, boat, boat, canoe. Okay, Whew. so we're starting in that boat pose. Find it first, get some engagement, then get those feet up, reach through your arms. Take it back with control, find that canoe, lift one, down, two, down, three, down, 
four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, and 10. Whew. Okay, guys, let's finish this last round out. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling worked, okay? Um, whew. All right, I'm gonna need a nice little stretch. I think probably tonight before bed and maybe first thing in the morning, we're gonna be feeling this one. All right, at the edge of your mat, come on down. If you're using those weights, get them on your hips, get in that good starting uh, bridge position. Let's go. Hips are up, lower to that hover, reach out and in one. Up, down, out, in. Up, down, out, three. Up, down, out, four. Up, down, out, five. Up, down, out, six. Up, down, out, seven. Up, down, out, eight. Up, down, out, nine. Up, down, out. There's our 10, finish strong and release it. Whew. Okay guys, let's take it to our tall seat one more time. Okay, so take those legs out wide, point your toes back. Right here, I want you to take a second, intentionally get sloppy. Okay, that's way over exaggerated. Um, now, get strong and tall. Shoulders back, belly tight. Weights start hovering over the shoulders. Let's go. Press, control down one. Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Okay, guys, we're going to finish it out with that last round of boat to canoe, get our core, and we're done, okay? Let's get it set up here, get on that cushier part of your seat, find your balance, and hover it down. Exhale, lift, one, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, guys. Great job. Um, you should stretch and you should do a pretty full stretch. So now or before you go to bed tonight, check out one of my shorter stretching videos, five minutes, ten minutes. I'll get in a full body stretch with you. Make sure you get that in today and I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys. I'll see ya.